Hi, it's Professor Adam. Let's talk about pH and pKa. Previously, the auto-ionization of water was introduced. We know this happens because pure water still conducts electricity. The equilibrium constant is written as Kw, and in line with the rules of writing equilibrium constants, the concentration of water is not included. Conductivity measurements show that the concentrations of hydronium and hydroxide are equal at 25 degrees Celsius, and so this means that at 25 degrees Celsius, Kw is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14. If acid or base is added to pure water, the system will be disturbed, and from Le Chatelier's principle, we know that the system will move to counteract these changes. If acid is added, then in line with Le Chatelier's principle, the system will move to consume some of it, which will reduce the overall hydroxide concentration by forming more water. This will create an imbalance and an acidic solution as the concentration of hydronium is greater than 10 to the minus 7. Conversely, if base or hydroxide is added, then again, in line with Le Chatelier's principle, the system will move to consume some of it by reacting with acid to form water. This will create an imbalance and a basic solution as the concentration of hydronium is less than 10 to the minus 7. If it is equal to 10 to the minus 7, then the solution is said to be neutral. If the proton concentration is above 10 to the minus 7, then the solution is acidic and basic if below 10 to the minus 7. In aqueous solutions, the concentration of the hydronium ion can vary from 10 moles to less than 10 to the minus 15 moles. To handle these numbers conveniently, they are converted to the p-scale, which is the negative common logarithm of the number. We call this pH, which is the p-scale of the hydronium or H plus concentration. So pH is equal to the negative log to the base 10 of hydronium concentration. How is pH calculated using this formula? Simply plug in the concentration of hydronium into the equation, which will give you the pH as 3.29. For these measurements, the number of significant figures in the concentration gives the number of digits after the decimal point for the pH, which is why in this example the concentration is, has two significant figures and pH value has two digits to the right of the decimal point. pH and hydronium concentration can be interchanged. If pH is equal to the negative common log of the hydronium concentration, then hydronium concentration is equal to 10 to the negative pH. So for a system with pH 4.3, the hydronium concentration would be 5.01 times 10 to the minus 5. Acids and bases form conjugate pairs with each other. For a weak acid such as this one, we have a conjugate pair between the acid and its base and between the water molecules. The dissociation of an acid is in equilibrium, and thus it can be described by the equilibrium constant. The equilibrium constant Kc for acid dissociation is called Ka and is sometimes referred to as the ionization constant. The dissociation of a base is also likewise in equilibrium, and for base equilibriums Kc becomes Kb, and has this equation. Ka and Kb are the equilibrium constants for acids and bases respectively. Thus it follows that when K is large, the formation of product is favored, and when K is small, the reactants are favored. For a weak acid with a small Ka, it will have a strong conjugate base with a large Kb value, and the opposite is true as when Ka is large, Kb will be small. The recorded values of Ka and Kb for some acids and bases can be very large or can also be very small. If an acid is stronger than hydronium ion, then it will be completely ionized in water. By comparing the Ka's of some common acids and bases, this will become clearer. HF is stronger than hypochlorous acid, which is stronger than bicarbonate. Consequently, their conjugate bases have the opposite trend, with the weakest being F- and the strongest being carbonate. This confirms the previous statement that when Ka is large, Kb should be small, and vice versa. 
For ease of use, many chemists and biochemists prefer to use a logarithmic scale of relative acid strength, pKa rather than Ka. pKa and Ka are interrelated as pKa is equal to negative log to the base 10 Ka. So looking at our previous example, the Ka values can be converted to pKa values. And we can see that they get smaller as a function of acid strength. This is because pKa gets smaller as acid strength increases. Much is often made that as acid strength increases, the strength of its conjugate base decreases. Indeed, these properties are related. The product of Ka and Kb for a conjugate acid-base pair is equal to Kw. Considering the ionization of a weak acid, hydrogen cyanide, its conjugate base, cyanide, has the following balanced equation. These give an overall equation which is the same as the auto-ionization of water, and it is possible to prove the relationship between Kw, Ka, and Kb like so, which indeed does give the value which is the same as the auto-ionization of water. Let's check comprehension.